Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 8 to 10 of section 3 of the Pink Booklet. So this is a set of questions about citric acid. We're told that it's a tribasic acid, which means it has three protons that it can give up, and we're given some pK values for the different deprotonations that take place. And I've drawn them out here. Um, question 8 says, what is the predominant species in a 0.1 molar solution of citric acid at pH 5? So let's think first of all what pKa actually means. So these are the pH values at which these two species are going to be in equilibrium. Equally, this is the pH value where these two species will be in equilibrium. And then this is going to be the um, pH value where these two species are going to be in equilibrium. So that sort of gives us a scale. So we're we know that if the pH is going to be greater than 5.2, then this would become the dominant species. Let me wrap that out and I'll give you another example. If it's less than 5.2, then this would be the dominant species um, until 4.28, where they'll be at equilibrium. If you keep decreasing the pH, then this will become the dominant species until it gets below 2.92, where this will become the dominant species. So basically gives us a pH scale here um, and the different points at which the different species become dominant. So beyond 5.2, this will be the dominant species. Beyond 4.2, up to that point, um, you can see that HA2- would be the dominant species. Um, so we've basically just got this pH scale, and remember what pKa is, it makes this really easy. So at um, pH of 5, we've got a pH, uh, let's say, around here, so where on this line then would the dominant species be? So if it's less than 5.2, we know that um, considering these two species, HA2- would be the dominant species in this case. And so that gives us an answer of C um, for question 8. Okay, so number 9 says, at what pH value are the concentrations of, uh, and we've essentially got um, a single negative ion and a double negative ion. Um, so that's how, it's basically these two um, species. So when are they in equilibrium? Well, that's what pKa tells us, and we know that the pKa in between these two values, which is going to be 4.28, is going to be the pH at which they're equal. So going through the different options, um, it's not A, B, or C, so that means that the answer definitely, in this case, has to be D. We know the answer is going to be 4.28 precisely. What about question 10 then? It says, as temperature increases, the proportion of deprotonated species increases. And therefore, uh, what does that mean for pKa values? So um, let's think first of all what Ka actually means. And we've got an equation um, for that. So let's pick one of these species to look at. Okay, so we've got this Henderson Hasselbalch equation that defines what Ka is essentially, oh, sorry, okay, so we've got this fraction here um, that looks like this. This equation probably isn't new to you. If we've got an increase in the number of deprotonated species, that means there's going to be an increase in the number of hydrogen ions. So that increases the value of Ka. So what is pKa then? Well, it's simply the negative log of Ka. So if you increase Ka, because you're taking the negative log of it, pKa will decrease. And so then what that tells us is that if you increase the concentration of hydrogen ions, that corresponds to a decrease in the pKa. And that's going to be true for all the different pairs that you pick. So if you put um, HA2- in there, or um, then on the denominator, you would have H2A- minus. It, uh, it doesn't matter because in principle the same thing is happening. Increasing this value of Ka by increasing the number of deprotonated species um, that will occur with it, an increase in temperature. It means you end up decreasing the pKa because you're just taking the negative log of that. So this is the rule then that gives us our answer because the three pKa values will therefore decrease. And that gives us an answer for number 10 of B. So that was questions eight to 10. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.